What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off up on last time, the Poles are continued to make are continuing to make determined determined assaults to try and hit either Zagreb or Venice. Uh, but we have done well enough for the Sir. meantime to hold them off. And I might actually pull the heavy cavalry back Bye. to Venice. We are rebuilding, we are building an army in what? central or well, northern Italy. Um, A, with an idea to either attack um, Poland or, which I'm actually quite liking the idea, is taking Sardinia just to remove this amount of Spanish influence and maybe take Algiers and bring war to Spain in the North African front. Because we do have an army in Spain. Good old Andrew Hamilton. But we are waiting see if we can entice the uh, Spanish armies to actually come out and attack us. Because this, we, right now we're holding a river, holding a bridge, and that would be a very, very good place to attack. We've still got some armies up here holding the front against... Not against the French, but getting ready to potentially fight the French. Because it's, it doesn't take much for them to suddenly flip and attack you. Especially when you hold their capital. <clears throat> but you're turning this place slowly Protestant. And it's earning us a lot of good cash. 6,000 a turn. The Russians is doing, are doing really well. The Poles are doing really well. I think this is going to be an interesting one late game. Too bad I have to attack the Poles first. But, you know, I'd like to take Munich. Polish Marines. Wollans. Um, but yes, everything's going quite well. Um, our, ex our ex excursions in the Americas are stable. Nothing much is really going on. If the French attack us, then at least we've got our navy positioned ready to intercept their navy. But apart from that, we've got a careful watch on the new sp on New Spain if they try and get up to any nonsense. The Native Americans are staying in line. And we're not involved in India at all. Um, but the Ottomans seem keen. And to be honest, I'm happy to not be at war with the Mughals for the meantime. Um, but everything's been done. So you're getting diamond formation. I'm not so bothered about cavalry drills. Fire in advance would be good for plus one training level for infantry. Ooh, but I'm actually lacking a lot in some economic techs or industrial techs so I might actually go for puddling furnace to help get up techs for our metal working industrial buildings but let's hit end turn because everything is currently acting the French are coming along to try to steal our technology the scoundrels more Spanish movements so the last few turns we have been intercepting Polish armies as they head our way from Croatia. Croatia is kind of the breakwater. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not lose it because no one wants to lose an army. But they are very much the, the guinea pig. They are the army that if, you know, I will do a lot of damage to them before they... And it's buying me time to destroy Western European powers so that when I do look east I've got the military capacity to actually fight them off. But taking Copenhagen's going to be a fun one. That's like two and a half, almost three stacks of troops there. Ooh, and you're offering me Goa for the Dutch? No. Dutch Goa is worth a lot more. Okay, that's a bit of a warning sign, so let's go fortify the most valuable one there is a of those two. That has not yet been developed. It's a great to commercial basin. Because let's build a build a build a walls here. And let's start to build up a basic garrison ready to defend. Let's get a great arsenal. 
in here in Caracas. Not metal roads yet. Let's check the buildings. Army board in Paris. Yes, sir. Okay, so they're still getting chock full, getting loads of line infantry. Let's get two units of heavy cavalry. Actually, let's get because recruiting this. Ooh, lifeguards. Two units of lifeguards, please. Sir. Your orders. And you. I might get some cuirassiers from Spain. All right, that's all I can recruit. Ready for order. But right now we're just building up our strength, ready to push them off again. Eastern European mercenaries. That's all our recruitment going off. Let's go back. They've not fixed the university. There's no point in raiding Bilbao. Let's come come back here in the centre. Okay. Not a lot's going to happen until we build up those armies. If I can open up the North African front, take Morocco, cross the sea, take Gibraltar, split them up onto two fronts. Well, take Sardinia first. Although, if things go badly against the Poles, that's where that army might go. <laughs> the army I'm recru recruiting Italy might go up as emergency... <laughs> so might serve as a source of emergency troops to help bolster the front against Poland. Because we are only... They are only at war with us. For now. Unless I just try to make peace. Although I doubt they will. If they've only got one military target, then the AI seems to be pretty set on continuing that war. It is very convenient the AI has taken this route of... of... Um, No. Counter offer. Just trade. I mean, you can't be too high and mighty. Your empire is crumbling and the Russians are taking over. Splitting the troops up. But they cannot take. They cannot take Copenhagen as much as they would like to. It's very well defended. So I'll try and make peace with the Poles, see if they bite. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help peace. your population grow. A trade port will Good. provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port... So that's... You want 16 grand? Uh, no. I'll give you... Not fire rank. No way. Nope. No trade for you. So I go to a naval hospital because I'm not that bothered about steamships. Let's get two second rates building just so I don't forget. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to a commercial basin. Let's get this sloop ready to start to transfer troops over to our new redoubt. Ships orders. There we go. Low yield, average yield. Gold mines are always worth buying though. Let's give you good roads. Bring the sloop, a sloop back yes, to Curacao. Good. Hey, the Russians have bought Savannah from the from the Cherokee. Did they give them territory in Russia? They did. Comey. <laughs> Always trying to offload Comey. Ready and waiting orders. 
Let's see if I've spent money on this. Yes, my lord. March! Not too far off of actually moving up. Moving on. Moving my troops on. Sorry. Okay, Florence, we're ready for a new tech next turn. Oh, where are you going? Don't you dare. I don't like the look of that. Moving ships to my near my shores. And we're at war. We're not at war, sorry. So you just take your troops and clear off. Is, are they going to send their troops to foreign shores? But that's a hell of a lot of armies they've just moved into the area, so I'm actually kind of... Well, I was about to say, I'm kind of glad. But in another way, that's kind of terrifying, because that's a hell of a lot of guys to kill in a siege battle. This is where you end up having siege battles with an army in reserve. Then as troops die, or when units cease to become useful, just make them withdraw, or charge the enemy, and then get slaughtered in the open field by cavalry, so you can feed in good infantry from the rear. <laughs> There's a port in this region that is not bottoms, yet so I don't care about Select the type diamond of port to building here. a new military a new naval will building help your population grow a trade port will provide an income from overseas trade Just keep building it Trouble is Florence can't watch her well Florence you may as well go for that because everything else is too big for you to be to develop efficiently Okay so Make ready. Forward. This army is getting two units of good cavalry. Two units of heavy cavalry. Let's maybe get a unit for SARS for light cavalry. And let's get a unit of... Dwarven Lancers. <sighs> heavy horse guard artillery. Let's get a battery of those. Good stuff. So you done here, Justin Gates. Orders. You can get. Oh, you've already got some cuirassiers. Sure you do. There they are. Sir. Oh, there they are. The unit of cuirassiers and two units of infantry. Let's get another unit of cuirassiers. One more turn, and they'll be ready to move on. Let's build the ordnance board. Aha! Quick line is ready. So once. Sorry, I just noticed the Russians have taken Baghdad. True as I can't. Can't get them on university until Harrisburg develops. So I might just have to exempt my capital from tax. Happiness spawns, gentlemen. Boston's got the university, but I can't get a modern university until Harrisburg develops. Okay, let's ferry. Let's ferry another batch of troops. Because they want if they want that territory eventually they'll go to war over it. So, and I see that French army. That French navy. Still ship shape. It might mean they go and take Cayenne, but at least we'll have a base. Crew some guns in case you have to fight them in a pitched battle. I mean, if they land and they go for Caracas, that's okay. I'll. What I might have to do is take Hawthorne. 
abandon the fort. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. Take them back to Caracas. As things stand, fort it Frederick. could easily be occupied. Recruit a unit of infantry to go there and reoccupy it. The idea would be to create, to recruit a garrison army there, just to hold that pass. Because that's a lot of troops now. I mean, this is all chaff, that'd be quite a fun siege battle because they'd, they'd get knocked back. New England Blizzard. If you guys want to read this, then pause it now. Do, 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 done. Cool. Bogota can get new roads. Caracas. Get the military academy because I've got a feeling I'm going to need to spit more troops out. So let's take this navy and put him nearby. So if he twitches, I can try and get him. Apparently they've got lots of troops. They're really recruiting and churning armies out of Antigua. Although that's probably the limit now. They've only got 3,500 left. Four more units. Next turn, you'll no two turns. You'll be done. One more Make turn. Ready. Justin Gates will be done. Then we'll go and hit Cagliari, Sardinia. Good. Back you go. We may not be at war, but that doesn't mean I'm going to let your ships and your armies have freedom without being monitored. I mean, I probably could sail my send my army from this in northern Spain to go hit Madrid but I want to be ready like you see how many troops the Poles have poured into that gap and they might actually attempt to get some of them overseas to create some colonies I suppose now is the only time they've had free access to the sea so I think I need to spend some money on my Mediterranean fleet in case that becomes a problem, shut down the line of supply. And the Russians are on the move. Hmm. Well, in the back of my head, it, oh, good. So their armies pull back. But it's handy it's hopped over to the Mughals, because right now I'm, I'm curious to see when they're going to play their hand. There is a port in this region National debt that has not done. yet been developed. Select the type... Mobile. Okay, so you... So, one more turn and you are ready to drive south with the main force. Like I, So I can see there's no armies. But Spain is a devil of having bunch, a bunch of stacks just sat down here in Gibraltar. Lord. So what I want to do is something like this. Away, Lord. Set sail, sir. Jump to it and look lively. Go hit their port. All hands on deck. Disembark Justin Gates. Send his army over the pass to go attack just a massive army of conscripts. Let's crew another sloop. Yeah, my pop Baltic fleet's pretty badass. Thirds, seconds. So you've got some heavy first rates, so I think you just need three firsts, get another second. Don't need any heavy privateers just yet. Let's get you near Grenadier Guards to just, just to bolster this garrison just a little bit in case they use this as an opportunity to... Well, look at so many men. So look at all those stacks there. Plus the garrison at Munich, garrison at Vienna, garrison at... Prezburg, Hungary. I don't even. That's probably not even spelt correctly, but whatever. So, who is Poland at war with anyone? Cherokee, New Spain, and the Iroquois. I mean, that could be really bad because they might go and start hitting 
Cherokee. Well, they will try and hit the Cherokee. They'll try and hit St. Augustine. So let's put a clock on what I what I can do and when I need to do it by. Lord. Okay, let's get moving. You in exchange. No way. <laughs> yeah, I cancel it because I don't know what that's doing. I think that's over near garrisoning um New Andalusia. That's what that's about. So I've not moved over those newest troops. It looks like it might be next. Oh, that's dodgy. Oh, oh, I've left one port free. And that, okay, they seem to want to. Okay, can we go over how crazy that was? Because I left one port empty, they attacked it. And they didn't attack Turin, Genoa, Milan, which are completely undefended. They went west towards France. Hmm. But they're attacking us with their conscript army. So let's eviscerate it in the hills of Sladen. They can do about it at all. Yes, yeah, so we we'll use that army. Take. Uh, take Algiers, move on to hit Morocco, cross over to Gibraltar. By then we'll have two armies near me. Oh. Beautiful position here for artillery. So let's put, I want to put two sets of guns up here to plink at range with round shot. But over here, where they're going to be a bit broken coming through the town, I want to put some in the line to fire canister. So let's deploy a nice solid line infantry position. My late marines being the anchor on the left. Um, I'm going to add a unit of marines to each flank. Just for a little bit of extra security. So the marines don't have bayonets, but when they go into battle, they use swords and cutlasses. Make sure they're on guard mode. Good. Then a unit of crossiers on each flank. Let's get my houses at the back, plinking with a round shot too to help build up experience. Because the story I've heard is that it's faster for howitzers to gain experience with round shot. Don't know how true that is, but oh yes, because they only attacked us in if attacked us with part of their force. They're not going to have an overwhelmingly large line. Poor souls. So you could... No, no, the hill's not, not steep enough. You might have got it to work if I deployed my infantry like here. I might be able to get... These guys could fire over them. But usually you want something like skirmishers above you because they can fire out at longer ranges like this terrain's pretty bad because it drops off quite steeply but you can imagine if you put an army a unit here but the field of fire was the, they'd engage when they were here from this perspective you would be eviscerating your own guys whereas if you had sh sharpshooters say over here they might fire when they're over there on that hill Yep, I am more than content just to let them march towards me as the reinforcements come in in single file. These are my late marines in blue. They do look rather good, I must admit. These guys do have bayonets. And there's the colours. Right, so let's... Let's wonder what it says. Pax Americana. Honey, swanky, mally pence. Pulse. Huh. I don't know what that says. Here they come. Poor souls. I did notionally have my cuirassiers out here because I anticipated them having to do lots of work in defeating, enveloping lines of troops. 
but to be honest, my QSCNs aren't going to get any work, I think. They're just going to fall. These guys are going to crumble before the artillery. As soon as they get within range, they're going to get destroyed with musket fire. Bounces in. General's routed. Here's the first casualty. Two hits. So it has been asked before why I don't use any of these special shells very often. Round shot, while well, round shot isn't special, you could you could see there they they're fairly accurate and they do do they're consistent. They do a consistent amount of reasonable damage. Whereas explosive shells I find to be wildly inaccurate and don't really do much. And carcass shot is it's like quick line, but it's worse. Like quick line, you can guarantee pretty much that you'll get some good kills but with carcass shot you can't guarantee it because you can't guarantee that you'll hit and do decent damage you already need to be in a good position in the battle anyway and also it kind of builds on this idea that you don't get it's easier to build experience when you get kills with round shot than it is with any other kind that's not strictly true because I have got experience. I have got um, units to gain experience by using quickline, but it seems like you need to, you need to kill so many more people. Like quickline units can kill, quickline shells can kill hundreds of men in a battle, and yet the experience rate or my experience gain is so low consistently. Souls up. We're running into range of the riflemen, well, the infantry on the flank. Just in range. It's one guy. He's dead now. They're broken. So I'm just basically using this as a good opportunity to get some, to try to get some artillery experience first and foremost. As you can see, my marines have already got experience. The 86 we just got out of the range. I'm pretty sure my, my elite infantry was already already had experience. Yep, the 84th, we've got some experience too. Yeah, just now my artillery. Yeah, cuirassiers just go chase down the conscripts. These guys is a bit trickier because they're routing towards the reinforcing army. These guys are just clearing off. Tell me how it says shoot at troops coming in rather than routing troops. 86 taking a bit of a pounding. Oh, militia aren't going to stick around for very long. That's them soon enough. Trying it again. Everyone stood two. And you're probably a bit of a bluff, so your damage isn't going to be so good. But these guys have got good shots. Yes, there go the Spanish. It's a very nice flag we've got there, though. They're shooting too far off axis, so they're actually getting, getting a bit of friendly fire there. Hey, my QSCs have caught up with them. This is the problem of having heavy cavalry, is that they'll be knackered by now, whereas light cavalry are a bit more 
a bit more flexible, a bit more agile, a bit more maneuverable. But when you've got battles like this, it's like I don't even ca I don't really care if they get away. Because it's going to be the same outcome. Except even more in our favour. So unfortunately we've got no experience gain yet. Here comes the 23rd Regiment of Militia. Let's see how well they do. We're in the olive, we're in the olive grove for the little forest. They've they're shattered, completely gone. Never to be written. After this, the 11th. The 17th, I've got a break. It's a bit frustrating. I've got no experience gain yet on my artillery. Let's see how many... How many units they had? If they had these deployed on the battlefield, they could wrap around the flanks. But the centre, in the centre, they'd still break and flee. Let's the into the fight. Let's keep these guys aiming at people sort of in front of them. Hit this unit of conscripts. Fourth horse guards are gonna have a right old time with the 15th Regiment of Militia. Bash. You have been slaughtered, my friends. As these militia try to form a line to shoot at us. Lower them down. God, this is actually going to take a while. Because they keep coming in so piecemeal. There you go. This gun battery's got their first bit of experience, which is buffed their accuracy and reloading skill. Uh, and then we're out. Don't worry about them now. Let them flee if they choose to flee. Which again, that tasty, tasty experience. Stop dropping artillery for more shells on these guys. She's a bit of a gamble with carcass shot. Delayed round shot coming in. Carcass shell coming in. Good amount of kills. Another carcass shell coming in. Two of them coming in. Just keep smashing them. They are going to kill any of conscripts. doing better now they've switched to canister shot. I don't know if that's due to the them killing, getting them using canister shot or if it's about they were close anyway. So we're leveling up. 
So if I can charge into the first regiment of militia, that would be lovely with the fourth horse guards. Said I'm not worried about them coming back. Probably gonna get shot in the back by the marines, by these conscripts. They might lose, even lose their first man in this melee. There we have. Pull him off his horse. Okay, they are having a good crack now. That's ten men. Okay, let's get them out. I think they're tired. Ooh, that's a bad direction to route, because they... They should charge into them. Charge into them. Destroy them. Because they're always going to lose men. But if I charge into them, I can, dis I can disrupt them. Then pull through. Oh, it's Dave Caster shot. They managed to make them a route, which is nice. Let's get them back to safety. You guys, hey, you finally managed to kill one conscript. There we go. Pull the shield back, and they've had a bit of a hammer in. To be honest, they've actually done not too terribly to some of my units. Well, they've done some good damage. Still no experience. Should do a test room with my fresh units. Have one of them set to just fire round shot, and one set just to fire, just to fire uh, cocker shot, and see who wins. Sleepers fire up his conscripts. Big miss. again. Are they targeting these conscripts? No, they're shooting at them. Good. Smash up the recovery. Just try to get kills. Sorry if this is a bit boring for you guys. Do you know what I mean? It's only so interesting I can make a battle against conscripts. Just conscripts. Smash! Let's do this. Just to make sure. Let's commit my general. Form the artillery round shot to the 36th. Get some let's get some blood on my general's boots. Let's halt fire with all of my artillery to make it so. Let's follow the main effort. Enemy general's been killed. Not going to kill running, fighting, many. And we're not going to kill many of their armies, but or many of their units. That's not the point. The point is just to build up, build up some experience. You chase after them. I mean, this is where the bulk of their enemy force lies, but meh. 
they're all stuck on this barrel. The set of um, this like wheelbarrow thing. General could actually kill a unit, an entire one. These guys triple experience off of one battle. They're going to do some good damage to them too. Triple experience for these chaps as well. I mean, general's closer. These guys are probably going to actually... Oh no, they are going to die. Before they're going to rout. They rout. They've routed. Although, these guys will not be long, alive for long. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The last guy. I mean, he's pretty much dead. But that was a good win. It's always nice to make them... It's always nice for them to not be, be fresh. Actually get some good experience. Let's have a look. So yeah, the cavalry done very well. Lots of my general's bodyguards gone up. Lots of my line infantry's gone up. Obviously my cuirassiers with the MVPs mowing down the retreating forces. What's Poland going to do? Because it has sort of backfired and it allows them to gather their forces in a way that will cause me lots of grief. If they immediately attack me, there'll be a four, three or four stacks. So they're going to sail that. I mean, I don't like where they've gone there, because that's definitely not uh, towards the open sea. To head into the med. So I may have to declare on them just to make sure I destroy that army. Maybe. What's important is they garrison that port that the uh, Spanish landed an army in, so that they've got a, they've got, I've got they've got to wait a turn from disembarking their troops ashore, rather than using a port. A bunch of slippery devils. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Puerto Rico, España. Let's bring Abraham Blair back to the Leeward Islands. Still ship shape. Sir, your orders. So these chaps. Back on this sloop. Go over there to disembark. Let's send Centaur back over to Cartagena. No, is that why is it send both of them? He must have got there before I Here's sent orders. the order. Men ready. There we go. Probably still send one of them. Yeah, they can just make it. Let's recruit a general. Here, Merlin Brooker, take that fort and garrison it. Agent detected, Bartolome Bar. Spain? Spanish agent? Okay, so you need to head southwest, southeast. Artillery be damned. Although it's en route to you from somewhere. Venice, unsurprisingly. Okay, where's this heavy cavalry I brought back? There it is. Turf them out. Because what is that if not an invasion force? If they were going out to the in fact to mess with the, the native factions, they'd have gone west. But they went north. They intend to attack me. That's my stance on it. In which case... Russia, Spain, Russia and France. This is where it could get tricky. Because it brings in, might bring in France again. And Russia, potentially. This could be a big old... That's quite a, that's quite a big thing to do, declare on Russia as well. 
If they attack me, the Russians might not join them. Okay, so I might need to put you into Paris. Amadeus, you might have to quickly march back down. Let's start recruiting a bunch of line just to stand outside Paris as a reserve. Because I can't really move anyone else. Lenin, Lenin Spencer yes, can't sir. really move. They are trapped. I mean, we've... Yeah. Oh, I, don't, I think I'm going to fight this next part by looking at the, at the timer. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the attack onto Cali... Cagliari, the destruction of the last Spanish footholds in the central Mediterranean. Cheers everyone, hope you've enjoyed.